everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have a Yakima Overhaul HD adjustable ladder rack. We're going to take a look at how it fits right here on our 2023 GMC Sierra 3500. So this includes the 68 inch long crossbars as well as the base. You're going to use the normal kit which just has the clamps to go around your truck bed. If you do have a tonneau cover though, there is a separate version that works with tonneau covers. So a ladder rack is great for if you needed to increase your cargo area. You already have your really big truck bed on your 3500, but what if you need more? Maybe you need to carry some ladders, some kayaks, some canoes, some truck bed tents. In that case, this is gonna be an adjustable rack so that you can get whatever height you need. So at its lowest point, we'd go just below the third brake light, so we were able to lift the crossbars up, and now we go over the cab. So maybe you're carrying around extra long ladders, so you're not worried about it running into your windows. Maybe you have a roof rack on your front cab. You can use this in addition to that and just get everything adjusted accordingly. You also are able to adjust for length. So we have this toolbox here. We are still able to use the rest of the truck bed and adjust it for our different accessory length requirements. This is made of a sturdy aluminum. Pretty much everything about it is strong and durable. You have anchor points or handles in the back. You also have the ability to add the side accessory bars to your rack as well. Um, you definitely check out the full demo for really the full applications and putting different things on this ladder rack. You can find that here at eTrailer.com. The installation is very simple, especially since it just installs onto your truck bed. Everything is included in your kit. The only thing not included I recommend grabbing is a tape measure to get things lined up. Now, let's take a look at that install. And I already installed the front crossbar. We're going to install the rear crossbar together. There's a bunch of different pieces. We have different crossbar length. So we're going to start with getting this mounted to our truck bed. So you get these two types of bases. So when you look at the center piece, you can see that they look different. Now this is going to be the locking base. And you can use your Yakima lock to attach at the end. The other one just tightens down normally. Most people keep these on their driver's side. Plan it out on your truck bed where you want to put the towers. I have an eight foot truck bed here, so we got plenty of space to work with, but we also have the toolbox. So you need at least 36 inches of distance. So we're gonna put it at about the four foot mark. The base is flush against your truck bed sides. You then drop this rectangular plate and this bolt in through from the top. Then get your J-shaped bracket, and this is gonna go underneath your truck bed. So feel around for obstructions, and then get it lined up with the bolt that is holding your base together. And then you're gonna hand tighten them down for now. Now use your large hex tool included with your kit to tighten down these larger bolts. Once both bases are secure, then fit your tower into the base. Notice how this has a door that holds that base in. Well, you're going to use one of the Allen keys to tighten that down. Now get your HD crossbar. We have the 68 inch long crossbars here. You can actually use a longer crossbar if needed. But first we're going to take off the end cap so we can install the little brackets. Use the smaller Allen key to loosen this bolt. And the easy way to take this out is either use the Allen key or flip it over. Because once that bolt is out, then this end cap easily slides off. Now get your two long rectangular plates and just slide one and two in there. Don't forget to put the end cap back on after those plates are in. Now, try to get those plates on each side of the crossbar. And if you did your work right, meaning you took your measurements and you made sure everything's good, then the crossbar should seat inside the towers. Notice how the wobbly the towers still are. We're gonna take a look at some measurements, but you should do this while pushing out on the tower. There are numbers printed underneath the crossbar. So this will help you get an even length on each side. 
So if the numbers match up, you know it's even. We're going to set ours to about 45 and a half. My special trick for this next one is I use the Allen key to line the plate up with the holes for the bolts. So I put the Allen key inside that bolt hole and that's what I use to confirm that it's all lined up. So we have these smaller bolts and we put the split washer and the flat washer on them. They're also security bolts. See how there's a little cut out there? So you really have to use your Yakima tools for this one. I just put it onto our Yakima Allen key and then holding the tower into place, we're then going to secure it. So notice how the thread is not lined up. Line up the thread, tighten it down with the bolt. So with four of those bolts per crossbar, I'll tighten down. Then just double check that things are secure. At this point, you can also make your adjustments for your height of your ladder rack using the medium-sized tool. And that's your install process. You're now ready to load up your ladder rack with whatever cargo or ladders or tents you want to get on your truck. Make sure to put your tools and your keys in a safe place for when you need to uninstall this again. So some thoughts about this ladder rack is it definitely is great if you need to carry around longer or larger items. With the adjustability, you're then able to put things even over the cab. Now we have an eight foot long bed on this year 3500. So honestly, that might not even be an issue for you. You have plenty of space to work with. So it really depends on what you're carrying around. If you don't care about over the cab height, you might want something that's a fixed mount. The Yakima Outpost HD might be a better option for you. And if you want something that works as a bed system, then the Yakima Bedrock might be preferable for those who are carrying around tents and want to camp on top of their truck bed at night. This gives you all the clearance on the inside of your truck bed though. It's great for versatility. It's good for sports too because of the accessories you can add on to this and it works with all of your other Yakima accessories too. You just saw the Yakima Overhaul HD adjustable ladder rack here on our 2023 GMC Sierra 3500.